We begin this Friday with a storm track 15 alert for a second straight day. Heavy rainfall across parts of Acadiana today. That rain bringing with it potential flooding concerns after a month of no moisture. As the, with the rain, we're keeping an eye on the Vermilion River. You can see how high it was at Vermilionville this afternoon. The Vermilion hit the 10 foot mark, which is the flood stage. But a break in the rain has allowed the river to drop a bit back to below flood stage levels. We want to get right to it. Storm Track 15 meteorologist Michael Crowley joining us. Michael, some Friday night football games and people with weekend plans. What's the rain potential for our evening? Well, so go, to go forward from now, we are expecting the possibility of some thunderstorms developing as we go forward in time. And as we look at radar right now, most of it is well off to our east. In fact, there's a new flash flood warning now for I-10 going up towards Baton Rouge for just the amount of rain they've received with this line of showers that's just relentlessly going through this area. And and that's good for us. I'm sorry for them, but I mean, we're looking at some pretty good conditions right now for Friday night football. The one thing I am watching is right in here. Watch them start to bubble up out of nowhere. So what we have now, there's a little bit of extra instability in the air. We had the sun come out for a little bit. That fueled some of these thunderstorms to start popping up. And I do think we're going to see a little bit more action just up to the north. I'm looking at this cell right here in New Iberia, giving them a little bit of showers. Eventually that could spread up into Lafayette. And we do have some games in Youngsville that are going to be potentially impacted by some of these storms. Now, if you are going to a Friday night football game, just bring that rain gear just in case. In, if it doesn't even rain, then at least you have the rain gear. So just stay dry this, e this evening. We're also going to be tracking more rain chances moving in for next week for Election Day. It's not going to be the best time to have it, but here you go. But we're going to talk about that a little bit later on. Marcel, back over to you. Alrighty, thank you, Michael. As our weather is ever changing, be sure to download the Storm Track 15 weather app. You can turn on push notifications for up to the minute weather information for wherever you live.